Martha of Just Martha Designs. And I'm so glad to be here with you today. Today is actually December the 30th of 2018. And January 1st will be here um, before we know it. And one of the things and one of the goals really that I have for this year is to try to um, come up with a way to achieve a lot of the goals that I have as well as stay on top of my budget and keep track of all of my appointments and things. And so right now, um, most of the time I've been keeping up with things through my teacher planner, but I need my teacher planner to do a little bit more and um, I really don't want to add in a lot of my budgeting items and my business goals or even my per my personal goals into my teacher planner. And so I actually purchased a large <clears throat> um, happy planner to start off the 2019 year and try to get the best um, way that <laughs> try to get my best foot forward, if you will. And so I'm gonna be going through a planning video and, and I hope that you'll come along and plan with me. Um, I do a lot of different kinds of videos uh, from crafting um, as well as um, just some personal vlogging and, and trying to go through my year. But um, I have several things here in front of me and I'm gonna actually switch the camera view so that you can see what's going so, on. So, um, I have actually in front of me three different items. This of course is my large happy planner. Um, this is my small planner that I use for teaching and it's the one that I usually carry around with me most often because whenever I have doctor's appointments and they want to re they want to schedule a doctor's appointment, it's easier to have this one in front of me because I know exactly what's going on at the school, especially when it starts getting toward um, April and May when we start testing. Um, it's really important that I know what days that we're testing, what days I can um, have an appointment on and so forth. So this is the one that I normally carry around with me that has like all of my major um, appointments and meetings in it. Um, this over here is just a journal that someone gave to me for Christmas. We had Secret Santa at, at the school. And while I usually keep a journal and I keep track of like my devotions and things like that, um, I thought that a great thing for this would be not only to journal in it, um, but to keep track of my goals. And so I actually took the first two pages and created some personal goals and some professional business goals um, because there are things that I'm doing at school and there are things that I'm doing at home. And so I want to keep track of all of these things. And so I will actually go, um, actually I'll, I'll go through with that. So some of my personal goals for the year, um, one is to lose 25 pounds because that is the one that my doctor is kind of harping on me the most. Um, another one is to take at least one vacation. I have not been on a vacation since 2016, so I'm due one and I really need to, um, I really need to go on a vacation. Um, another is to find a church to attend. When I moved to the city where I live at now, and started my job, um, I left a wonderful church behind and I've not found anything that even closely compares to it. So um, that's one of my goals for the 2019 years to find a church to attend, one that I enjoy going to. Um, another goal is to get my budget under control. And this one is a big thing and that's kind of what I'm really working on. Um, I want to pay off my car and um, move. And then over here, um, my 32 books by May 30th. I actually told my students that I was planning to uh, read 36 books this school year, and I have read four. Um, but I'm also through, I'm all, also mostly through with several others that I'll probably be finishing up soon. So I just want to keep track of that and know that I have until May to do it. 
um, for my professional and business goals. I really need to start my master's degree because that is one of the things that I need to do uh, in order to, to keep my certification for the state. And then um, I want to have 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And this was a goal that I really want to increase um, the money that I make through my website and my Etsy shop. Um, currently, <laughs> the only business that I have that's actually um, making money for me is in my reselling business um, on eBay. So that's the only thing that I have. And so these are just a couple of post at least two YouTube videos a week. I know I've been really slack about doing that and I really want to plan for that um and to have posts on my website a minimum three times a week and my social media media sites at least something daily so what i'll end up doing i'll probably create another page for um my books that i've read and then every day i want to as far as journal i want to journal something that has to do with my goals whether it is i read so many pages or i did something but i want to kind of keep track of that so um we're going to start off with this and i'm going to set this aside because i do have some dates in here that will go into the planner and so these are some of the stickers that i'll be using i actually create these stickers and sell them in my etsy store and so here is <clears throat> my planner and it is just one of those happy planners and I like the size of it because it's large enough that I can keep it at home and keep track of things. So first thing up is January and looking for January if there are any important dates that are in there and some of the goals that I want to actually accomplish this month. And so... I want to double check with January to make sure that I don't have anything and I really don't have anything planned as far as January at this point. There's nothing in there that's pertinent, but I can turn around and actually <clears throat> list some of my goals of things that I want to work on and looking into January of what I want to do. And one of those goals that I'm going to put in here is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, so in January, I'm going to visit some churches, and I'm going to visit at least two in January to kind of get toward that. That'll start me off to, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> my goodness. That'll start me off. Um, and then looking toward um, maybe some of my professional goals. I am looking at possibly, let's see. I'm going to work on some business goals. And those are probably going to be along the lines of the YouTube and social media. So those are things that I'm going to be working on this month um, to get ready. I'm also wanting to budget. So I will be creating a budget for um, January and I actually use a um, an Excel sheet that I actually created for my budget and I have my snowball um, my debt snowball and everything in it so it's kind of something that I've been using for a while um, but there's a lot of things that I'm losing track of and that's one of the things that I need to look at so uh, <clears throat> looking at January the 4th was supposed to be a professional development day, and it's not. I'm not going to work that day. That's so nice. I don't have to go back until the 7th. Um, so, I'm going to make a note that school starts back. And winter break ends. 
And then on the 21st, that's a holiday. And I'm just going to put an NS at the bottom. That means that I, there's no school that day. So that takes care of transferring the items that I needed from that. And then some of my um, stickers. I know that for this month, Fill my little sticker up. I know that on this month, my payday is going to be on the 23rd. So at least I can keep track of that. And because we only get paid once a month, and that's like really, really horrible. I know it's terrible. Um, I usually have a lot of things that come due at the beginning of the month. So, pull off another sticker. because I plan um, ahead. This is going to actually go into February for rent. I know that my rent's due on the 1st of February. Pay everything in advance. So, flip back to January. And I have... Tell you what, I think I need some nails. All right, now one of the things I'm going to be doing for um, January is keeping track of a lot of the things that I have that are coming due. <clears throat> and so <clears throat> a lot of the things that I have that's coming due are toward the end of the month. And so, um, looking at that part, um, I will be doing a weekly plan for that as it comes. So, this first week, I'm going to split up my items of things that I need to do. And, and those things are working toward my goals. And things that I'm going to do on the, I'll be starting on the second. I don't think that I'm going to be doing too much of anything on the first. And so, a list of items that I want to do. On the second <clears throat> is... I am going to edit my video. Go back and double check. So I am going to edit my YouTube video. And I'm actually going to record another video. And the 1st of January starts our celebration. So I'm going to promote that and the occasions catalog.
So that's something that I will be doing to promote my Stampin' Up. And then on Thursday, all right so now what I'm gonna do is go back um, let's see so I could put some more to do's in here I wouldn't even want to do on Thursday. Yeah. I think I'm going to skip on Friday. And put one. Well, that's all kinds of crooked. And one for Saturday. <clears throat> and so for Thursday, I am going to create a card. And Date my website and then for Saturday I'm going to organize house get ready for back to work all right so we'll go back and fill in a few more of my stickers for my bills. Alright, so I know that I have power due on the second. And that is three thirty three ten. Fill that in. I also have bills due the twenty fourth. And that is home. It says utilities and phone. And car insurance. And something else comes out on that day, and I can't remember what. See, that's why I really need to budget, because I don't remember what's supposed to come out on that day. Oh, my. It usually comes out about the 25th, too. Car payments due on the 25th. And I'm not sure how much I'm planning to spend on that. 
right now. That's kind of up in the air. Usually it's 250. I'll put 250 for right now. And I think that's all that I have. Oh, no. The 24th, we also have our cable and internet. And All right, so that's everything for currently for January. I think that's everything. Yay. That's great. All right, so that's all for January. And we had the first week of January completed and I still have plenty of room for other items for right now but anyways um, I will put the link to my Etsy shop for the stickers down below um, if you'd like those and also Um, you know, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I will be um, creating another video um, to let you know how my goals are going for the year. And that should be later on this week. But hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. Bye.